uh, a member of the New York congressional delegation indicted this week, though not what many thought he might have been indicted on, at least not at first. Nick Rizzi from DNA Info. Nick, tell us about Congressman Michael Grimm out of Staten Island and, and parts of Brooklyn. So his indictment was a 20-count indictment, but most people expected it to be for campaign finance right. uh, charges he had. Two-year investigation. Two-year investigation, okay. but what actually happened was it was for when he owned the restaurant on the Upper East Side called Health Delicious. Okay. And essentially what they're uh, charging him with is skimming about over a million off the top of the books and um, not paying payroll taxes and hiring undocumented immigrants. All right, so this is a former FBI agent, right? Yeah. And I believe that the prosecutor, the uh, uh, Brooklyn U.S. attorney, said he's very sophisticated in a lot of this, alleging yeah, that, Yeah, he, right? he um, actually, when he was with the FBI, yeah. he would, um, you know, investigate financial matters. Okay. But she said it's a relatively simple actual you know, scheme was he was working on. He was just... Cooking the books. Yeah, oh, essentially. Okay. All right, good. Where do things stand with the other investigation? U.S. Attorney saying that's still ongoing in terms of the case. Yeah, they, some, they, some people have been arrested connected to him, correct? Two people have been uh, arrested already connected to it. Okay. They, they didn't mention anything about him. They're just saying, you know, it's still ongoing. Okay. And this stemmed from it, but they right. still haven't mentioned it. He says he's going to keep running. He's got a campaign. He's got a le election, uh, a campaign in November. Yeah, he, I mean, he's actually, he's calling the charges a political wish hunt, and mm -hmm. he's saying, you know, he's not guilty, and he's saying, you know, that he's going to fight them tooth and nail, essentially. Okay. All right. The latest on uh, Congressman Michael Graham. Nick, thank you for updating us on that. All right.